Well, it's the B-U-F-F dash O-N-E. What's going on today? It's Nick and Chris here. Nick is getting pissed. That's not what we're doing today. What we're doing today is we're going canoeing again. And if you can see in the back of this picture, I have a TV. I didn't really mean that. I meant to say I have a fishing rod. And we have a fishing box. So hopefully we catch something. We'll try to see what we can do. Uh, it's about to rain. It doesn't really look that bad at all. So we'll just kind of run what we brought. We're currently in the Sherpa again with more incense, more patchouli burning. He's kind of smoking us out, so. Just waiting out here for Nick to go launch on the river. The Waccamaw River, again. But we're a little bit farther down than last time. This is just the boat landing dock. It's really nice. Really, really peaceful. A lot bigger than the other one. It's an action packed day, so stay with us. It's gonna be a little long, and there's just gonna be a lot of the scenery shots and whatnot. So be sure to, you know, stay with us. I got all my fishing gear. We went to um, Walmart last night and got a fishing rod, fishing license, and a cooler. Cooler has about 20 pounds worth of ice in it. Water, snack, worms. We have the incense burner with the incense, and it's gonna be really fun. So stick along for the ride, you guys, and we'll be there. All right, everyone, we're back out on the river today. Just like before, I was telling you when we were up at the marina, the boat, the boat launch. Um, this is really nice out here. It's really beautiful. This is right here up is a little island. We're gonna choose to go that way. Um, we could go up and around, but we decided that you know we want to get to the spot where we want to fish and whatnot faster. So a little bit more swamp land for you, Jordan. Again, if you're watching, we got this for you, buddy. This is like home. So how you doing back there, Nick? I'm here. He's here. We're both here. We're out here. We're having fun. I'm not paddling right now because I'm videotaping, but once I start again, then we'll be going somewhere. Alright, you guys, we're out here. We just cast in. We're just kind of chilling. Tell them everyone what you just heard. Yeah, we definitely heard an alligator. Um, when we were at the Adventure Park yesterday, they were talking about how the gator's mouth has a uh, distinctive sound up to 2,000 PSI. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's like a popping thing. We actually just heard that sound um, coming from over that way. Yeah, so we're not going to um, stay around here too long. So we're just going to keep on going. I'm going to try to keep on paddling because I don't want to... Let Nick feel like he's the only one paddling. I gotta put a little weight on the line. Okay. So, we're out here, y'all. We just took a um, nice little path up in the middle of nowhere. This is more swampy than anything else we've been in. Um, it's very calm and very still. There were some jet ski dudes that came up and disrupted our other spot, but right now, Nick found a piece of line on this tree, and it's not alligator line, it's just regular old line. We happen to find this little encampment up along here. I guess people just come and hang out and light fires. Um, we did see a snake, so we don't want to stay here for too long, do we, Nick? No, not too, too long. Corn and liquor bottles? Yep. Looks a lot cooler from the water. 
looked a lot cooler from the water. Take the camera then. I'll look for the snake. It was like right up over in here. It went right down into the dare. Yeah, it's definitely gonna lure a snake out. And there's snakes for us. That concludes our river trip today. Um, we were almost taken out by one of these things coming up. This huge yacht. When I say a huge yacht, I mean a yacht. How big was this thing, Nick? Eighty foot yacht. Something huge came by and basically just he had this huge wake. Uh, it was a no wake zone, or at least you're supposed to slow down for canoes and whatnot. Didn't slow down. This full boat of bros came up right behind him, jumping in his wake. It was really bad. So we almost lost it there. But other than that, we were good to go. This concludes our trip and everything. So That's it was the last river adventure. probably the last river adventure for the uh, vacation. So it was really fun. You know, if you guys want to see more, let me know. Back at the dock, and we're about to head on out. So you guys take it easy. Keep it free, keep it love. Remember, you have the choice. Always the choice. Thank you guys. We'll see you all later.